So Ozzy Osbourne and his family, they have a podcast, right? And so they was doing an episode of it. It's called the Osbourne Family Podcast. And they were reading through some um, comments that fans was leaving them. And one of the comments was like, do y'all ever see your daughter Kelly doing uh, dances on TikTok? And Kelly said, no, why would anybody ever expect for, for me to be dancing on that, right? So somehow Britney Spears had came up and Ozzy Osbourne said this about her dancing. I'm fed up of seeing poor old Britney Spears on YouTube. Dancing. Oh. Every f***ing oh, day. Save Britney. It's, it's, I know, I feel so it's, You know, it's sad. Poor little thing. Very, very sad. Yeah, very it's, sad indeed. It's heartbreaking. It is. I don't know how it's heartbreaking to see somebody dance, but I know he sound like, just like Keith Robinson. But Britney Spears shared a post to her Instagram addressing the criticism towards her and, uh, and people in general. And she said... Every single day on my IG, number one, I hardly ever dance. Hmm. Number two, I'm not poor at all. I have more ligature in my left toe than any grown man or woman on earth. If you don't believe me, how long do you think I should keep going for? In my transparent opinion, wealth and health isn't relied solely on cash in your bank account, which I have lots of that too. It relies on my quest and my own effing interest in how I demonstrate and serve back these wise a-holes just as Kate did. I taught dance class last week. Uh, the post was pretty long, that's why I just stopped it. Um, but the biggest highlight is when she directly addressed the Osborne family. She said, I'm gonna do a photo shoot with Kate and tell the Osborne family who is the most boring family known to mankind to kindly F off. So, if you know, white people get the beef and you know, <laughs> not really that interesting, but I'm tired of people talking about Britney dancing too. She's doing something that she like. All right, maybe her underwear don't ever come all the way up. That's true. But, but she's happy. She seems like she's happy when she does yeah. it, right? Yeah. But, but, yeah. but also, too, Britney's been around long enough to know because she's an artist. When you put stuff out there, people are going to have a critique about it. So if you're going to get online and publicly dance, you know, people can say it looks sad or, mm -hmm. you know, they think she's terrible at dancing. They're going to have yeah. critiques. Well, right. They They've been, well, you can always unfollow somebody. Like, Ozzy Osbourne, come on, because for real, like, you don't have to watch her dance. And people have said this for years and years and years, and it's the first time she ever clapped back. She never said anything about it. And you know, that's Ply's girl, so he should be coming soon, sis. But, <laughs> no, he, because he, he be getting mad when people be in the comments playing with her, ripping her to pieces, talking about, oh, it's mental health and all that. She just doing, I think she just doing what she like to do. White people, some, a lot of white people are kind of awkward like that. Maybe that's, like, she looks happy. She she what do you mean when you say people. white people are awkward like they can't dance? Is that what you're saying? You know, I think Britney, yeah. I think I think Britney has proven throughout the years that she can dance when she has the right choreography. You don't remember I'm a slave video? What? And why are you talking like that? You don't remember Do I that remember video? The I am a slave. Yeah, I'm a slave. I'm a slave for, for you. you. Didn't Pharrell she produce that? Yeah, yeah, he did. I guess, but she could never come out with that song today. You know, you're right, right? Think about that. Can you imagine if a white <laughs> Can you imagine if a white woman came out with that song in 2024? Oh my God, Twitter would lose their mind. <laughs> I'm surprised they ain't pull that video up to cancel it now. Yeah, please. Yeah, well, you giving people ideas, yo, chill. Just leave her alone. Oh, no, nobody cares. Cancel yeah. culture's been canceled. Nobody cares. Right. In more white news, Rain Disick uh, calls out Courtney Kardashian and Travis Barker. So that is Scott Disick and Courtney Kardashian, Kardashian's nine-year-old son. On Wednesday, the episode of the Kardashians, um, uh, Courtney and her son Rain, they had an he had an issue with her kissing her husband Travis Barker. They was on their way to like a um, a trip to Australia, mm -hmm. and when they got there, you know, because he uh, Travis is touring with Blink-182. He back on tour. That's actually one of my favorite bands growing up. Like, I ain't gonna hold you. I was a Blink-182-er, for real. But anyway, yeah, so the little boy had a problem with them kissing and showing affection and all that, and this is what he said to his mother. We Hi, stop making out with Travis, bro. Like, didn't you just have a baby? Don't get another <laughs> one this quick. <laughs> I think it's a beautiful thing to see parents, especially ones that just had a new baby, you know, be affectionate and loving. There's what nothing wrong with that. Are you giving her a hickey now? No. no. It's a gentle kiss on my neck. Uh, right. I just missed him. No, we got played over here. We on air, right? 
Yes, we on here. So why, why can I hear you whispering to Red Top about, you can't turn her mic up? You can't turn her mic up? Then I didn't hear the audio. We ain't hear the audio. But you thought you said that off the Stop. Make it show with Travis, bro. Like, didn't you just have a baby? Don't get another one this quick. <laughs> I think it's a beautiful thing to see parents, especially ones that just had a new baby, you know, be affectionate and loving. There's nothing wrong with that. Are you giving her a hickey now? No. no. It's a gentle kiss on my neck. Uh, right. I just missed him. Well, I can't stand no little nosy ass, cock blocking ass kid. What? I got a, I got a couple of those. You can't say that, but yeah, <laughs> there's a bunch of those out there. All the fire out of Ashton. Excuse me, and you nine. <laughs> like, don't ever put me in this. Why little kids be liking to do that? Little kids be the biggest player haters. Yo, like, get you, out of here. Because that's not his daddy. Why? That's, yeah, yeah. That's, I was ready to say, and that's Scott's son. And, yo, Rain been hating on his mother for a long time. Like, he, he always got something smart to say to her. <laughs> but the b- b- biological kids act like that too. Like my they b- do. my my two youngest, they see you hugging their mom, kissing their mom, a mom hugging you. They be like, "Get off my daddy, get off my mommy," pushing us apart, getting in between. Yeah, in between, yeah. Yep. That's different, but not. Didn't y'all just have a baby? Goddamn, chill. Y'all want another one? Excuse me. Mm-hmm. He he got You're a not, point. <laughs> oh, she got a point. <laughs> Okay. No, no, Rain is a boy, but no, don't ever talk to me like that. Like, oh, yeah, Rain is a boy. You, okay, yeah, Wait, said, that young man got a little point. Are you giving her a hickey? Ew! Like, come on, chill out. My kids, my kids do that too. If, I, if I'm kissing my wife, they're like, yeah, all the time, jumping between us all the time. He kind of got a point. I'm not mad at the little young man. It's the difference between the black kids doing it and the white kids doing it. They, they you gotta know how to say it in the black house, cause I wish Ashton <laughs> ever. Are you giving him a hickey? Excuse me? Oh, okay. But anyway, that's all the stories I got for right now. But that's just with the mess for uh, the first hour. All right. Thank you, Jess. Now, when we come back, we got front page news. And then Rap Man will be joining us. He, of course, he's the creator of Supercell on Netflix. So don't move. It's The Breakfast Club. Good morning. Wake that ass up. Early in the morning. The Breakfast Club.